and give back to my community and just do something bigger than me. It's not just about me. It's about the people around you. Purpose and our mission. So just to shed light on other entrepreneurs and people who are working in specifically like our area, the Boston area. We can't all do this alone, I feel like. Like at some point collaborating with people if such and such has a thousand people under their belt and we have a thousand people under our belt, but they're not the same a thousand people. Now we both have two thousand people under our belt supporting us, you know what I mean? And just building people up and building ourselves up and collabing together and showing people like there's more than one spot at the top. Like mm -hmm. if we can put Boston on the map by all collabing together and showing showcasing people what we have to offer. And I always say this but like our generation is multi talented, right? And we're all working on different things. Really and we're trying to create a platform for people to have conversations and sort of showcase what they're working on. Mm -hmm. Um because at the end of the day, I feel like there's a lot of people who talk about like collaborating and they talk about empowerment and yes. support and being there for other people and like supporting yes. black and brown businesses, but they're just talking about it. They're not really about it. Mm -hmm. So Valid TV is here to do that. Cold blooded, pretend I don't love them. But I don't preach cause they each mean something Bloodshot eyes, it don't mean nothing Gripping on the stomach, trying to make a vomit Scum Can you tell me like what does Feed You Mill stand for? So, um, my boy, his name is uh, Jeffrey Gonzalez mm -hmm. He had uh, passed away um, in 2014, I want to say mm -hmm. Um, yeah, that was like his movement like Fugiville, like he was a rapper, so like mm -hmm. that was his movement. So like you know, it was just like a takeover for him, you know, yeah. making music. So like a young generation taking over. Yeah. Um, to some of us, it's like a brotherhood, mm -hmm. you know, because Fiju and, and, and my language, I'm Cape Verdean, so and um in Creole, it's um like a, a child basically. Son. Yeah, son. Mm -hmm. Um, and and Ville is like a village, you know. So when when people look at it, it could be you know um children of the future, a young generation taking over. Um, and stuff like that. And then 2016 and 17, we didn't really do anything at all. Like we were just like, alright, whatever, I guess. Um, and I just basically revamped it. Basically, my sister was just wanted to do like photo shoots, so then I came out with the sweaters, and it was a wrap from there. I did sweaters, and then when I did the uh, the sweatsuits, it was really good. <laughs> still an evil man. Y'all don't want no parts, but I still call it practice. Cause they still judging Allen officers every reaction. Allen's up in Turkey, Jeff's going ham. It's been a god of Ferrari, bitch, I'm a Jets fan. One stroke and she fell in love, call me crazy. But I invented hooking up, I'm a naughty baby. One time, one time for the truth, bitch. One time. I want to get a store and like I have to get it in Boston like I want everything to take off in Boston before it takes off anywhere else um, because it means more to us especially mm -hmm. here um, my boy like I said the one I started started all this he lived down the street from me so it's mm -hmm. really it's really important to keep it in Boston first especially in Dorchester but like I said man we a child's born every day so you know what I'm saying that's that's my message behind it so if we could just keep prolonging for for the generations to come each each and every time, mm -hmm. you know, it'll be easy for everybody. So I definitely want my stuff to be out there like Nike, Jordan, mm -hmm. stuff like that. But I want to make sure like I'm good in Boston before it, it take off. So I'm gonna break that down. Mm -hmm. um, owning a brand, I felt like it just, it just, it's something to be proud of. Like I'm proud that I own it, mm -hmm. you know, but I, I would never take full like credit because he is the one that came out with it. And I kind of do, I not, not kind of, I definitely wish he was here and to see that the love that he was getting from Fijuville, definitely, um, would it would have been, it would have been good because he still would have been making more music. Um, he was actually one of my favorite rappers too. The way he just like put his pen to the pad and came out with like words and stuff. Like my boy was saying earlier, he was coming out with like weird words, but it would be like, it will be lit. Like the kids say, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, as far as Fijuville, I'm just I'm, I'm glad that I'm, I'm doing this so I would definitely say if someone's out there trying to do a clothing brand 
just stick with it. It's good, and you get you you get a lot of good exposure. Um, you get to work with people. I love working with people. Oh yeah, my man, it's, it's a young generation taking over. I want uh, I want every every generation after me. Even some that were before me too probably wanted the same. But I want every generation after me to go farther than us. If that makes sense, mm -hmm. you know, I want to pave the way for like my nieces and nephew who are like 13 and, you know, growing up to they, they in the beginning of their teenage years. I want them to not like I wouldn't say that I suffered a lot, but I would want to say that when times go by, we, we want to, you know, I want to spark the mind of one of the kids that's going to change the world. And I feel like Fugiville, that's what it stands by. It stands for all the Black Lives Matter. It stands for all of the young kids trying to make it out the hood or not even just the hood, just doing stuff that people said they couldn't do you know what I mean like I'm trying to be a teacher and I feel like just the fact that Fijiville just stands behind anything you want to do is why I want to become a teacher if that makes a lot of sense so yeah. I definitely would say um, I just want people to understand that this is this is a generational every generation you know it's a generational thing kids of the future um, and I just want to just spread love spread love awareness so many things going on so that's definitely something I want people to take the message in and, and go with it if they're rocking with us. You know, um, he's definitely a big supporter. Um, as you see, he's just copped some shorts. Um, he's rocking the t-shirt now. Um, he's someone I definitely wanted to put on this, on this documentary because I feel like growing up, like I said, like I was with Jeff going to school, but he was like 24 seven with Jeff. You know what I'm saying? Like him and my other boy that passed away, Chris, rest in peace, Chris. Um, talk about sharing underwear type shit. Yeah, we're like, yo, dude, days. like, they was like two peas, three peas in the park because we used to the three, you feel me? For sure, man. Just tell everybody what, what Fijiville mean to you, man, and man. anything else you want to say, dog. Pretty much what I get out of Fijiville, man, is a community that, you know, strive to never give up on their own people. You know what I'm saying? Like, always, you know what I'm saying, the people that's here, even the ones that's not. My man say it all the time, that he's going to die for his dead homies. He's doing this just to put back into his community, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of hurt out here, it's a lot of kids killing kids, you know what I'm saying? This right here symbolizes the faith and the future that we have in each other, you know what I'm saying, to keep moving forward. You know I'm saying? As long as we can get the community back together, you know what I'm saying? Get, get these people, you know what I'm saying, back on the right path, stop them from fighting each other, just standing third, just put something out there creative for people to have their hands on. I'm saying the world will be a better place. And that's what Fijiville is to me, man. This, this is the steps that we take for it. Like, I got some friends that got it tatted on them, and that's one I want to tat on myself too. So it's yeah. definitely, it means a lot to us. So it's definitely yeah. someone I had to put in there. This Fijiville is my girl and DreamWorks. Baby. DreamWorks too. That's a, that's a that's another little <laughs> sneak sneak preview, man. A man's got it tatted on him. You gotta make your dreams work, man. You know, that's mm -hmm. real. Make a team work, but that's that's some. Um, Turn your dreams into reality. Dirt. Yeah, so sure. that's um, that's something I want. That's gonna come out with too. So now that he said that, that's gonna be a little sneak peek to the fall. You know, so. Shit, I hope to see that shit, oh, man. Yeah, definitely, no definitely. Oh, this is my guy right here. Go to fruition. Day two is the main Fugiville day. That's when um my friend was born and he had um passed away on his birthday. Um. <laughs> And the other one is 11:27. So that that one's when we first came out. So this this year 11:27 would be like a 50 year anniversary. So usually I just try to come out with different designs or work out work on new stuff around those times. So Fijiville Day to me is like a celebration. It's like a party. Like um, this Saturday I'm gonna have like some friends come over. Um, just gonna turn up for Fijiville Day. Yeah. Um, and the one in November is usually when I just like come out with new stuff. Just a celebration of life for my boy Jeff on his birthday, 822 and 1127. Just us coming out with new stuff. Yeah. So those are the two days that I, I consider Fijiville Day. What would you say inspires you or motivates you the most to keep going on a day to day basis? <laughs> That's a tough question. <laughs> <laughs> um, inspires me? Just the fact that I have to just keep pushing. I have to keep like putting out new stuff, funky stuff, nice weird colors, uh, just anything, honestly, fonts, gear, uh, all that, uh, I like all of that. I like to, I, I just like the love, I like the love people give me. A lot of people too, like I got some friends that 
that buy a lot of stuff and sometimes I I won't I wouldn't even I won't even charge them because there's just so much love that they're giving me. I had a friend one time come to my house and grab like 12 shirts. Like 12. Pulled out straight cash. Was like, yo, I want 12 of these shirts. And I was like, I will take three more for free. And then he just got the three shirts for his girl. Mm. Like he bought 12 shirts his size, different colors, just for himself. And then when I was like, yo, just take three for free. And he was like, I and just scrapped it for his girl. So it's just love like that, man, honestly. And it's just the fact that I have, it's not that I have to do it, but I tell myself, yo, Feachville has to be where, where it needs to be. It needs to be the biggest, bestest, if that's a word, brand ever. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. that's what motivates me. That's what, that's what, that's what gives me the drive. You know what I'm saying? And the fact that some, some of my friends every day just hit me up or just new people that want to know what Feachville is about. So. That motivates me a lot mm-hmm. into this, into it, until it gets big, and even in, even when it gets big, till it gets bigger than that, bigger and bigger and bigger, <laughs> all the way. Like I don't want to stop. Like even if, God forbid, I'm, I'm, I'm gone. I want like, I want a store, and I want someone else to just come and own the store. Like I want it to just be there. Like I want it to be a building that's just gonna stay there forever, in a way. Yeah. And just have this movement just get pushed forever and ever. When you think about like the acronyms that we have for Valor TV, right? So you have vulnerability, accountability, Mm -hmm. leadership, intentionality, and demand. Which one of those acronyms stands out to you the most and kind of sits with you throughout your time? It's tough. Um, I don't really know, honestly. I feel a little bit of everything in a way. I I, I, I could say leadership in a way. Um, Maybe because um, I won't take this as me gloating or bragging, but maybe because when I started my clothing line, it pushed a lot of my friends to do a clothing line too. Like some of them, some of them still tell me like, yo, since you, you know, you did this, how can I go about doing it or whatever, whatever. Like some of my friends, I made their logos and I made their designs. So I can see that in being a leadership, like just trying to be a leader out the pack of my friends that, that want to start their clothing line or whatever. Um, I try to support everybody from Boston. Um, I do feel like I'm very, I, and I don't, I didn't just start supporting. I've been supporting people's stuff. Like I started throwing away a lot of other people's clothes that didn't mean nothing like Gucci and stuff like that. I stopped all that. So I'll definitely say leadership. Um, I was just, um, I just wanted you on, on this uh, little documentary shit. I just wanted you to basically express what, uh, what Fijiville, um means to you and shit like that. Show me your hoodie, Mario. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it was, you know, when we first did whatever, it was, it was, it was, it was a way to, you know, at first it was, it was just you making the shirts because, you know, Jeff had passed away or whatever, and, you know, that was, that was, that was your way of, you know, keeping, keeping it live, you know, and as time went on and it progressed, you, you were the only real supporter, and then I remember one day having a conversation with you, and I'm like, yo, bro, you should sell those shirts and I remember the first thing you said to me is oh, you wasn't into it you wasn't doing it for it wasn't about the profit for you you were doing it more about the message you were doing it because of Jeff so you know it's the message behind everything has always been a, a little bit confusing because originally there was there was no real message it was something that he started it was something that that you decided to, to carry on like it wasn't between you know the family didn't do it it was only you so as a friend, you know that that always that always you know it, it resonated with me. I always I always have mad love for you for that because like you didn't have to do that, but you personally did that and you went out your way to do it. Over time, it just you know it became something more powerful because then over time it started to build a message. It became more about us, you know, more about us. That was that was like the, our first quote unquote business. That was about ownership. Like and to be completely honest, I've always told everyone it was your thing. Because to me, it was like, you know, that was your way of keeping someone's message alive and, you know, always dope to me. Like, I can be the brother, and yeah, that, that could have been something just started, but I feel like you brought that shit to life. Like, without you, it would have it never happened. And even when we stopped doing it, you kept doing it. So with the whole Fugerville thing, you know, it was it was something that became, you know, when, when Jeff said that, it was, it was more of a joke. He always said a lot of, like, awkward shit, random shit, and 
some of it had meaning and some some of it held no value. But with that, that was something that, you know, he mentioned in couple, some of his music. And I remember uh, the first time he said that, I believe it was a cold. Because, you know, how Dave Cole always talks about the Ville, like where he comes from and all that. And Jeff made a joke, like, Fugerville. Because we're Creole, you know? And it, was, it was a representation of our neighborhood, of our hood. So if you remember the first shirts he made, it was always Dreams Work. And yeah. Dreams Work, the slogan was Dreams Work, make the team. You know, it, it was uh, it was related to that because it was like you know his thing was this is where we're from. We're Creole, which is all our neighborhood. We the new addition to the city. Hold up. New addition from my city. They see bosses throwing up and I've been throwing up plenty like I eat up every single thing. The corner so is many. They cool. They just want to see you falling. The reason the cameras in when you walk in. The reason they listening when you talking. They all mocking. Cause they want the same spot. Don't know how to get here. I ain't even made it. Bro, got me looking rich. Yeah, they want the same spot. Don't know how to get here. I ain't even make it, bro. Got me looking rich. Yeah. It was all a yeah, dream. Yeah. I was young, trying to sleep. Drug dealers counting money while I'm busy counting sheep. Mama tripping on the bills, making sure that we gon' eat. Now every night's the last supper till my brothers come in.